2D physics. Greetings in our tutorial, tutorial making 2D video game. We are coming to the last uh, lesson. In this lesson, I will explain a few uh, 2D physics uh, possibility for a static body and for a rigid body, uh, which can be done uh, without any coding uh, with uh, a GD script or uh, other options in a Godot 4. Uh, we will start with a static body. For a static body, go to inspector window and look at properties. Uh, we have properties like uh, physics material, constant linear velocity, constant angular velocity, and other properties. For example, no 2D transform property are known to you. This is a position, rotation, scale, and skew for, a, for object. But we will talk uh, about constant linear velocity. This property is good for uh, 2D games. Constant angular velocity uh, can be used, but uh, in a 2D space, um, uh, rotation are uh, explained differently. Let me say it like this. So constant linear velocity. It's very easy to understand. You can change X or Epsilon axis for this velocity. So this is body constant linear velocity. Does not move the body, but affects touching bodies. So our static body will stay in position. And our static body have three collision shape here, as you see, uh, for uh, every side here. It will stay in a position, but this um, position will give some kind of linear uh, velocity. And without other talking, let me show you. Uh, with uh, X axis, we can change it, for example, like this. This will be 50 pixels in seconds. And uh, this will influence any body touching the collision shape. We have uh, two bodies. We have rigid body here under the influence of gravity, and we have our character body. So let me show you. Character body go to the side, and this also go to the side. So as you see, we have some kind of movement, but this movement is created but by the static body. And now we can create a simple game. Let me explain you how to create Spawner or a spawning position without coding. We will use a rigid body with collision shape and mesh instance, duplicate by two, so duplicate by one, control D, and again, you can duplicate. Now we have three rigid bodies and the position of the first, go to the transform position, is on epsilon axis 29, so second will be in a different position, for example, 400, but in a mi minus 400, minus 400. And the third will be in some different position, position epsilon minus minus 800. And now we have a spawner and we have our character body with position of jumping. So jumping, 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 and we can do it like this. If you want to uh, make a game from this, uh, you can change a few details here. For example, you can change the gravity scale. If the gravity scale is, for example, 0, 1, you will have a different uh, spawning rate. You can experiment with this, but I will not go uh, in the details here. You can. So, as you see, now we have different spawning rate, as you see here. Okay. 
other option for a static body is to change uh, a linear velocity in epsilon axis this can be look like this maybe let me see what i done uh no 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 maybe 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 like this minus that uh minus yes and now as you see we have some kind of different uh different options uh, our uh, character sometimes can jump sometimes can't jump because uh, he need to be on the floor and this can be some kind of uh, of setting for game okay this is uh, everything about static body i want to show you here it's all visible you can easily experiment with this for a rigid body uh, you can uh, also change some properties i explain you about mass gravity scale but you can go and change something in linear velocity in angular velocity uh, constant force, uh, you can experiment with this, but it's usually influenced but by some kind of coding from a character or from some prop in a video game. For linear velocity, simple thing is to change uh, x-axis. For example, let me try like this and see what we'll get. As you see, it's changing. It's changing. I change only for the first one as you see i can do it like this second one can um, have different different uh, linear velocity for example 30 and this one can have a uh, linear velocity for example 10 and you will get something like this and this and this uh, velocity x uh let me see what i done i put it 50 here 30 and here 10. so uh, you need to experiment with these values and i hope you will get something now i will change it to some other values like this and now we have we have something like this as you see okay this is mainly all you can uh, you can do but uh, my suggestion is to experiment experiment to see what uh, can you learn from this so uh, always start with simple things like mass and gravity scale then go to linear change some linear values it is very easy to understand uh, then go to uh, angular values so angular values are in some kind of influence uh, with angles also uh, in a constant force uh, this can be easier to understand to add some constant force in x or epsilon axis but um, torque uh, can be can be can be a little bit difficult to understand if you are good in vector uh, math this isn't be a problem for you uh, this will be all in this uh, lecture we are finishing this uh, tutorial with this lecture and uh, in a next uh, tutorial um, we can talk about uh, things you are interested in so please uh, when the tutorial is finished uh, you can write in comment what kind of uh, tutorial you will like to see we will continue uh, with uh, uh, with tutorial uh, about godot as you see here and your suggestion uh, will be greatly appreciated and uh, 
I will possibly made something uh, with the influence of your suggestions. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day and see you in some other tutorial. Goodbye.